Hi guys, today we're going to do a shop with me around boots. Now I went into boots, it wasn't necessarily that I was going to film this video but I decided I was kind of looking for something specific. I thought as we go around I'll kind of show you some stuff that takes my eye and then at the end of this video I'm going to show you what I actually bought. So a bit of an impromptu shop with me. Please ignore the background noise. I've got a grumbly dog and a fan on because it's the world's hottest day. I love these palettes, super tempted, really affordable, cute little palettes from Fenty. Um, they are on my wish list, I think. Um, and they've got some really good little mini sets as well. Just really bringing us into that Sephora-like experience at Boots, which I am 100% here for. Huda Beauty, I haven't really ever seen much of. I've got a couple of things, maybe even just one palette, but love the name of this one, Mercury Retrograde, 100%. Um, but I don't know whether or not, there's nothing really that massively stands out apart from that lip gloss, that lip gloss balm that we kept hearing about and the legit lashes, which we talked about in my auntie haul. Um, I like the no retouching thing. Hi. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, the whole thing of um, the boots, the layout and stuff now is amazing. And I've never seen proactive boots before. I was with Ella and we were looking specifically for the ordinary face care or skincare. Um, and she was interested in the proactive, obviously also in the sale. We'll never understand the pricing of this. Aimed at teenagers and it is just incredibly overpriced. I, I don't think this is going to be around for another year. It's stupid money for, for the target audience. Um, so I was looking specifically for Lee Stafford's blonde range, and I've never seen the hair apology range before. They do have a bleach blonde in the bottom. You can see the toning shampoo that I used to use. This I actually picked up. I got the detox and brighten clay mask because it was on offer. Um, but anything that's brighten, anything at all, completely have my name all over it. I don't totally remember what I was looking for in this section, but I want to know what you guys think of the face halo because it's so popular, and I just can't get on board with, you know, the facial... Um, the flannels and stuff where you don't need soap. It's like a cleansing flannel. It just freaks me out a little bit. It's really harsh, I find. Um, but I'd love to know if you really enjoy it. I also found myself massively drawn to anything cooling. This is like a cooling mousse. Do you remember those like crackling cooling mousses? Um, obviously in normal circumstances, there'd be a test room. I would have had a go, but no. Um, but I found a lot of things that were like that that were kind of front and center in boots. It felt like the hottest day of the year that we were in the shop then and now as i'm recording this voiceover it feels like the hottest day of the year as well um this again a cooling gel eye masks and face masks yes this whole range the blue in it drew me in i picked this up because emma said it was amazing i still haven't used it but i'm going to show you at the end my reaction to smelling it for the first time and it is just as amazing as she said um and these look really interesting they're kind of like metallic thing like a balmy type wax thing and there's like a, a powder and a spray like metallic colors for your hair i can't wait to play with my hair now it's blonder in this video by the way i pre-recorded this so my hair is darker again um the kristen s range which i've always wanted to try i think it was in ulta in the u.s kristen s is lauren conrad's hairdresser and um it's expensive but i think i'm probably going to succumb and give that a go purely because lc for the win and I also really want to try those Ethique shampoo bars. Um, Got to pick up the Batiste, my absolute favorite dry shampoo. I was going to get myself some Lee Stafford Clean dry shampoo, which is my favorite favorite, but it's pricier. So I saved up special occasions, uh, but I couldn't find it. So I just got some of that. Um, I also got some um, hair biology. These were really interesting. I think I just got the clarifying one, the cleanse and clarify. I can't remember. Again, I'm going to show you in the hall at the end. Um, but there were so many offers on hair care. Given that I was specifically looking for hair care, um, I, I, I haven't been to Boots for a while. Been to Primark, haven't been to Boots for a while, and there were so many offers. Um, I was looking for a spin pin. I also was looking for one of those things that you put in a bun, and I couldn't find either. Do you remember spin pins? I think I'm gonna have to order some on eBay. I was looking for something that would cause less tension when I put my hair up all the time, because I'm finding some breakage in my hair now from that. Uh, I also was specifically looking for the new Dove mousse, the tanning mousse. I looked everywhere, all throughout the store. Of course, I didn't ask, because that's what sensible people do. Um, didn't actually ask if they had it, but I couldn't find it anywhere. 
and decided I'd looked everywhere. They did actually have an offer on the um, Vita Liberata body blur, which was a really good deal. I don't know whether or not those offers will still be on because this was filmed like a week ago, but if you can get that, would highly recommend. I really do like it. I have a video on that. Um, I am now going to Superdrug because I was determined to find my Dove um, tanning mousse. I didn't find it. Very frustrated. I ended up having to buy it in Amazon or on Amazon rather. And I was also looking for the new gloss from Revlon. You know, the one that um, Jam Beauty 89 said, or Jessica Braun said was uh, like the new lip butters. No, I haven't seen this before. This was new to me. Um, I, but I found that there's just not that many new things on stands right now. So what I bought, number one, I went in there. Um, well, first of all, I went in looking for the Dove mousse, the tanning mousse. Specifically, that is what I was looking for. Um, secondary was hair things. So Ella and I have just gone blonder. I've not gone as blonder as we all anticipated, but it is lighter and it does need a little bit more care than my um, majority virgin hair that I had before. It still has been gently bleached and so I do need to be a little bit more careful with it. So I don't want to wash it as often. Number one, dry shampoo. I got one for me and one for Ella. This is my favourite dry, sh dry shampoo. Just, it's in terms of one that I'm going to wear day to day, this is my favourite one. If you want to know my all-time favourite, they didn't have it in store. I was going to treat myself and buy one can for like special occasions. It's the clean one from Lee Stafford. It's pink, not the Coco Loco. There's one that's called Clean, something clean. Um, and that is my absolute, absolute favourite because you put it on and it really truly feels like your hair is clean. Um, it doesn't feel like you've put dry shampoo in it. It's just like magic in a can, but it is more expensive. And I don't, I wouldn't be using that on a day-to-day -day basis because my hair does get quite oily. So I use this on the regular. I'm planning to only wash my hair once a week. That's the plan, whether or not that works, we'll see. Um, but in terms of like trying to keep it healthy, that is my plan. And um, so dry shampoo is absolutely essential. And I didn't have any, I didn't have any, can you believe? Um, so that was my number one for going in there. I was in with Emma and she told me this is amazing. She said she's mentioned it in some videos. Um, the Imperial Leather Moonlit Skies and White Cashmere Calming Bath Soak. She's really struggled with sleeping during lockdown and um, this was a pound. I'm just gonna, I just took her word for it. It smells amazing. Oh, wow. Moonlit Skies and White Cashmere. I really wanna know what it is that's in here. What is the, what is that fragrance that I, it smells amazing, it smells so good. I'll keep you posted, but it was a pound, a pound. Never think of Imperial Leather. I was actually looking for um, a soap. I wanna get some uh, bars of soap that are like oil soaps, cause I know you can get like olive oil soap. I've, I've bought some soap for kind of like hand washing, but I'd like to replace my shower gels and things with solid soap if I could. And um, I just couldn't find anything. I think an oil soap's gonna be better because regular soap just dries out my skin and it's not for me. And I need something that's gonna replace my regular shower gels but actually do the same kind of thing and just i need something that really does work and it doesn't feel like a massive massive compromise um so i think i'm going to order something online if you've got any particular recommendations let me know i was looking at like solid shampoos and stuff but now i'm not so sure because of my hair i'm gonna wait and see how things go i did also buy this the hair biology from pantene pantene sorry I'm like Americanized. I watch too much American stuff. From Pantene, hair biology, cleanse and reconstruct. Um, this says it's got rose water and micellar and it's got for greasy roots and damaged lamps. And I just got the shampoo from this range because I thought this probably is like a clarifying shampoo. Cleanse and reconstruct. Like a clarifying shampoo for colored hair. So I'm thinking like probably once a week I can use this and it's hopefully gonna get rid of any of the stuff in my hair like the dry shampoo, like any kind of toners or things that I've put in it to make it shiny um, and still kind of blonde and not brassy. I just thought I could do with a clarifying shampoo and this was on offer so that's why I bought that. Oh, I have this, this is not from Boots. Um, I have this because Emma bought this for Ella. We were looking for it from Aldi the other day. I did an IGTV little shop with me and she found it in her local Aldi. It's the Lacora, Lacura, every time. Healthy Glow Glycolic Toner. This is the Pixie Glow Dupe. And Ella prefers this to the Pixie one. This is my closest, closest, closest. If you can get this, I think it's as good as the Pixie one. Most of the others that I've tried, the other glycolic toners, I don't, I think they're missing something. Whereas this feels hydrating, soothing, but it still does the same job as the, um, Pixie one in terms of like exfoliating and smoothing. Amazing, but not really relevant to what we're doing right now. Um, cotton buds, 
these aren't mine. So I'm gonna guess that Ella bought these. Because these aren't mine. Unless, I, oh, I know why. She bought them because she's also got this Calamine lotion. Um, she was reading that this was basically like the Mario Badescu spot clearing treatment. Now I can kind of see how that would work. I've not heard anything about Calamine lotion being good for breakouts, but Ella suffers with um, a good amount of acne when it's not being dealt with. Like it's gone away a lot because she's really been great and diligent with her skincare, but she wanted something um, that would be kind of good for clearing things up as and when she gets like particularly bad flare ups. And she'd read good things about Calamine lotion. I don't know, I mean, I know it gets rid of rashes and things. So have you heard of this or is it just me that's like in the dark? But I'm guessing that's now why she's bought the cotton buds to have with this. I'm guessing. Ibuprofen, because if you ever see ibuprofen in a shop, buy it. I've never got enough ibuprofen in my life. Uh, and then I saw this, loads of things were on offer. Now this was a week ago that I filmed this video. So whether or not all these offers are still on at this point, I don't know, apologies if not. Uh, but tons of things were on offer when we were in store. And the simple detox and brighten clay mask. This is, oh, it's very, very bright right now. I can't bring you close because that's the sun. Um, this kind of called out to me, protect and glow and a clay mask. We're going out this evening and I think I'm gonna um, get a bath put this on kind of pamper ahead of time i'm also going to have my um feet i'm having a pedicure emma's going to have her nails done and because you can't go to like you can't just like sit with someone while they have a treatment unless you're having a treatment covid um so i'm going to have a pedicure at the same time so that we can kind of have a bit of a girl's day and later on i'm going to come back and like prep to go out i'm so excited i haven't got ready to go out in a very very long time so i'm gonna like really stretch it out very exciting times uh, so that's everything that I bought, not loads. There were some things that I was kind of tempted by. Um, they've got loads of new stuff in Boots right now. They're, it's becoming like a department store. It really is amazing. Uh, but I just didn't really want to buy a tremendous amount more than I needed to buy. I, I know at the moment we are considering um, putting the house up for sale. It depends. I mean, again, I'm filming this ahead of time. We will have had a valuation by the time you see this video. And I will have been talking about it on my vlogs. I'm vlogging every day in August on my second channel, uh, which is always linked below. It's called Diary of a Spenderholic. And um, that's the plan. So whether or not that happens or not, the big thing's gonna be declutter. The big thing is gonna be get things out of the house rather than bring them in. So I'm very mindful right now that more than ever, I really don't wanna be bringing unnecessary things into the house, um, which is great for my attempt at a no spend although this is going to be a very expensive time. <laughs> um, but thank you for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. We do a shop with me in some capacity every single Sunday. We have brought that back and I'm very excited about it. Um, apparently very excited about everything in this vlog. It's, it's just an exciting time. Um, and otherwise, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!